Uh, hi all, welcome back to my channel Pi Spark Pulse. So in this video, we are going to discuss one of the question uh, in which my friend has going to interview for the company Nagaro. Okay, so in total there are, there were three questions which I got from him. Uh, I will be discussing all the three questions in you no know, in part by part because uh, discussing all the three questions in one video it will be a long video and uh, you know you might get bored up. So without wasting much time, let's start the first question. So the question is like list the airlines that operates flight to all the available destination. Okay. So basically there are two data frames and relevant columns are data frame one we can see this is flight data frame and this is flight id airline id and destination airport id and you can see the sample data frame which i have created there are some seven flights uh, distinct uh, airline id we are having there are three airlines then destination airport id there are in total one two three distinct airports okay and again then there is a uh, other data frame that is the second data frame airlines which is just having two columns airline id and airline name okay then the output will be airline id airline name okay you can see the output is three and airline c so only the airline id which is equal to three serves all the destination airport you can see 101 102 and 103 so that was the expected output that we are having so try to solve this question and just pause this video and try to solve the question on your own i will be providing the sample data frame creation in my uh, uh, description you can pick it from there and try to solve the question so let's start to solve the question i have executed this code i have imported these two libraries call and count because i will i will be needing them when i'll be solving the questions so let us visualize a data frame also what we have created airlines gf show and also flights you have to show we'll visualize both them in one go only let us see so okay this was the same data frame which i have already shown you here airline cf one two three three airlines three airline name in total uh, seven flight ids and in total three destination so this is our data frame now uh, let us you know try to understand how to solve the question now what the question says uh, all the available destination so there might be you no know, big data frame and we have like multiple destination thousands of hundred destination so first of all we need to check how much uh, what are the distinct destinations we have okay like the count first of all we should check the count of uh, uh, distinct destination okay and uh, create a variable uh, 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 what destination count okay destination distinct or distinct destination it should be anything anyway distinct destination count what it will be how okay so how we can get this we can get this from flight id uh, data frame flights data frame okay flight cf or oh, flight id i was saying flight cf so let me call that data frame flight cf and what we need to do we need to select a column we need to select we need to select a destination airport id column okay and we need to get the distinct of this dot distinct and what we need to get we need to get the count of it Uh, let us run this and also I will print this Should be three okay. Let's check this also Bob is running so we can see the output in total there are three distinct airports ID now We know there are three distinct airport IDs and now we want to check uh, which airline serves all the three distinct des uh, destination Okay, so let us uh, airline bring all destination okay so flight cf dot put by airline id okay. copy the name from here only airline id 
Let's visualize this. Okay, we'll be uh, grouping this on the basis of airline ID. Okay, and here also what we'll do, we'll be do the aggregation and library already have imported. It is count distinct. Count distinct of destination airport ID. and destination airport id let, let me give some alias to this uh, dot alias we can give we can give as a uh, distinct airport or anything you know the like distinct airport distinct destination we can give okay destination distinct we have done on the basis of uh, airline id so which airline so you can visualize this uh this data frame like uh, on the basis of group by it has a uh, group by on the basis of airline id it has done and it will just you know uh, column will be airline and other column will be destination served and this will be giving us uh the data frame giving us the numbers okay let me show you this then we can go further okay first step we have done so you can see airline id 1 is serving in two destination airline id 3 is serving in three destination and airline id 2 is serving in two destination okay now what we want we want to uh, filter the data which is serving all the three destination right already we have taken out this variable destination distinct count that is three okay dot filter column we want to filter distinct destination okay let me copy this i have just created a dot shown the output here so that you know we can visualize call distinct destination should be equal to all destination destination count okay now let me visualize this also it should be three and three three and three so we got so our problem is like 50 percent it is like 90 percent it is solved solved now just you want the airline name okay so for that what we need to do we need to join the flight data frame with the airline data frame dot join okay we'll be joining airline cf copy the name you know where's the airline cf on which column airline id okay i'll pick the name from here and i will put it here okay so we have joined the column that we want okay now the last step is to select the relevant columns that we want select we want airline id and airline name right that's what we want so airline ID, we'll copy it from here. And airline name. Okay, so we got the exact output. Airline ID three, that is airline C, operates in all the possible destination. So this is uh, one of the questions that was asked in Nagaro and in the upcoming videos that is in the part two and the part three, I will be solving, solving all the three questions that was asked in the Nagaro for data engineer interview that was for around uh, three years of experience. He also, he was my friend and he has cleared that round as well. So this was the solution uh, that I came up. He has provided me the question and this is my solution, my approach, which I've given if you have any other approach, uh, do share it in the comment box and uh, please let me know your feedback and, and let's connect on linkedin and please subscribe to my youtube channel you know, so that we can grow our network and we can you know, crack any data in engineer interviews yeah so that's all for this video i hope you liked it do comment and subscribe thank you